This here is the best stone and soup you've ever tasted in your life. Stone, stone soup. Stone soup, same thing, right? There's a very good moral to this story, but I'll tell you the story on you if you haven't heard of it. There was this, there was a bit of a famine going on, and there was this old home with that, and he was going up to a village, and he was dragging a big pot behind him, and he had this couple of stones in his hand. But he knocked in the first door, the lad came up, he was obviously a farmer, he looked him up and down, and he had his own riffraff moving along there. But your man asked him for, um, uh, some food and farmers like no don't have enough to spare move on so he moved on on here and there was a bit of a town square and he went in there and he's talking to people in there and he said no one will give me food so i'm going to make stony soup stone stone soup stone soup stone soup <laughs> um, and they were all laughing and looking but they're intrigued like they thought this was a bit of magical back then like, you know you're talking hundreds of years ago but he said open a little fire and he puts pot on it and one of them gave him a bit of water like, and he polished off the stones, he put them in, and he started boiling. And they're all staring at this like, I thought you saw a map. But he starts turning around, he smells it, and puts the soup in, tastes it, and goes, Jeez, that's nice. He said, could do a little bit more with the flavour, maybe a few carrots or an onion or something. And one of the lads started laughing, and he goes, I'll give you an onion. So he went and put the onion in, cooked it for another while, and the farmer went over and smelled it, and he could smell the onion. Like, and he said, like, that's not bad. And he goes, Jeez, if we had a bit of uh, carrots, and brighten up the... The colour of it, so obviously his lad intrigued with what's going on, gave him the carrot. And when so on and so on, he had meat in it, he had a bit of turnip in the hole, and he was stirring the pot. And the whole village was intrigued with this, like, but they happened kind of realise that this lad was a bit of a scam artist, but he was going to teach him a valuable lesson. But every far, everyone in the village, farmers, all the priests, the whole lot, got a bowl of this soup. It was the nicest soup they ever had, and there was even more to go around, there was left over. So they all had a party that night in the whole lot, and they're laughing and joking. None of them realised what was really after happening. I don't know why. Maybe they were a bit hungry at the time. But um, they woke up the next morning, and their man was gone, the pot was gone, and his magical stones was gone. And the village laughed and joked about it, and like had great spur, community spur, and after that. But like the moral of the story is, the moral of the story is um, basically about community spirit. But it's important to have community spirit because. When you're alone, you might not have much, but when you're many, you all have something to bring to the pot, which makes it better for everybody. Mm, Stony soup. <laughs> Stony soup. <laughs> so, more sorry. New to spur on course summer has to be in. Say hello, summer. Hello. Now, <laughs> it's now a follow, will you?